fellow Toastmasters and welcome guest. Uh, unless you live on a deserted island, language is as essential as the air that we breathe. I think we don't realize how much we take that for granted. You don't go a day or probably even a waking hour without it. Sometimes you may not know, uh, something else you may not know is the number of current languages throughout the world. Does anybody have any guesses? 256. 3,000. 7,000. Ooh, very nice. It's about 6,900 languages. Wow. <laughs> uh, for comparison, Europe has about 230. Asia is around 2,200. Wow. I had a, a, at my church a, a missionary. He went to Papua New Guinea oh. to translate a Bible for a tribe, Siawe tribe. There's about 200 people there. He, one day he'd go down the river, it was just a few miles away, he came across some other people. They spoke an entirely different language. Mm -hmm. They've got 832 languages just in this little Papua New Guinea island oh, country. Wow. And a lot of that is a product of dispersion of the people, mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of transportation, so you can have pockets all over the place of folks that can't even communicate with each other. Some of you may know I'm moving to London pretty soon. By weird coincidence, as I was going through my garage, I found this British phrase book, <laughs> and I was reading through it, and I got to this interesting section that's called a Cockney. Yeah. And there's a, a, a very densely populated country. It's kind of blown away my three of the different the pockets of different people that don't communicate and have access to each other. But in East uh, London, there's a, a group of people that speak this language. It's definitely not lexophonic, but uh, I'll give you a little demonstration here just for fun. You won't Adam and Eve it. I went to the rubber last night and mixed Pimble and Blotch with Tom Thumb. At the end of the night, I was an elephant's trunk. There's a quick translation there. Um, let's see here. You won't Adam and Eve it, you can probably guess. They like to rhyme stuff, you won't believe it. I went to the rubber last night, which is short for rubber dub which rhymes with pub. It's, <laughs> it's funny stuff. Pimble and Blotch is scotch, Tom Thumb is rum. An elephant's trunk means that I was drunk. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my little story. <laughs> <laughs> oh,